Hey, Tubies. It's Psychic Bob. It is so rocking to be with you. Well, here it is. It's Wiccan Wednesday. And somebody pointed out yesterday in my video, I said it was going to be Vlog Thursday today. <laughs> my days are all off. You know, it's been a really busy time for me. Uh, as many of you know, I am a full-time psychic medium. And Halloween is coming upon us soon. And a lot of people are calling for readings. And I want to say thank you to all you've been calling for readings. Uh, we are getting back to all of you as soon as we can. Not to worry, Psyche Bob has not forgotten you. Uh, I'm just being a little overwhelmed. But keep your calls coming, keep your letters coming. If you want to get on my schedule for a private reading, we still have openings this month. Um, you can call me at my phone number, 571-483-2112. See the link below. Or write to me at my email, readings at robert com. Again, the email link will be below. We'll get you on the schedule, okay? So I thank you for your patience, and I'm just glad you're here. Well, you know, I don't know about where you live, but where I live, there's always this kind of strange merge of holidays. Like, for example, it's not even... Halloween yet, okay? But I've been out shopping and I'm seeing like on one shelf Santa Clauses and manger scenes and then on the other shelf I'm seeing Christmas decor. <laughs> I mean, I mean I'm seeing Halloween, you know, like I'm seeing Santa Clauses and mangers and then on the other shelf I'm seeing witches and goblins and ghosts. I'm like this is kind of a weird mix. So, anyways, we're in that in between time. But you know what's really cool about them putting out Halloween stuff now is that they have some mystical things that are wonderful for those of you who practice Wicca. So, you know, like today, for example, I'm wearing my Wiccan t-shirt, okay? The five-pointed star, the pentacle or pentagram, is one of the symbols of Wicca. By the way, it says Wiccan on my shirt. Isn't that cool? And I'm wearing my Wiccan pentacle today as well. This one's got a moonstone. I just love the pentacle or pentagram. I've got it all over my house. You can see my backdrop here. And as I was walking through some of these stores, look what I see hanging on the shelf. Little star ornaments. Now, I love this, and I think this is particularly Wiccan and pagan because you got the pentacle, which is five-pointed star, and it's in red, and then you've got green, a little green bell. And red and green are the traditional colors of the Lord and the Lady. Red is traditionally the Lord. Green is the Lady. Um, I just think that's really cool. Isn't that a beautiful red uh, star, pentacle? So I said, you know what? These were at the dollar store. I paid a dollar for them. And they're made of real metal. These are not plastic. They're real tin ornaments. And I think they're just great. So I like said, wow, you know what? In my house, because there are pinnacles everywhere, these don't have to be just for Christmas. They could be really for any time of the year. So I bought some. I got some red ones here. In fact, hold on, let me get them out. I'll show you. I bought a bunch of them because they were on sale. Actually, there were less than I think it was two for a dollar. So, anyways, I got a bunch of these. And I also got some beautiful silver ones because, you know, silver... Uh, silver star is a Wiccan thing. You know, we have this silver star represents the, you know, the goddess energy, the moon energy. And this is a little blue, which could be like the sea goddess. So this could be like star of the sea symbolism for your home. Yeah, aren't these just beautiful? I don't know if you guys can see the detail on them. I'll bring it up close. But can you see it's it's real metal pinch work. They're cut out. They're soldered. They're just beautiful. So for 50 cents each, actually for all four of these, I think it was $2 I paid for all of this. I tell you, that is what I call a deal. And you know what's wonderful is like in my house, because I have pinnacles up all year round, you know, you could buy these now and put them up for Halloween or for Christmas or Yule holiday season. And then even afterwards, you know, when you take your other Yule stuff down, you could still put these in different places in your house. You know, as a blessing, put it on your front door, you know, um, because it doesn't have to be just Christmassy. I mean, I think this could be year round. I really do. I was really, you know, really excited to find these. So I got those. And another thing that you might want to look for. Well, actually, let me show you before I go into these other ones. I also bought some giant stars that are wall hangings or, you know, um, these are, I think, personally too big for a tree. Unless you have a really massive tree. But they were selling these as tree ornaments. 
uh, but I think they're large enough that they can go on the wall. What I really love about this one is it's, it's kind of interesting color because it's not a really deep gold. It's a very pale gold, almost a silver undertone. It's like a, when I look at it in some lights, it looks silver, and then I look at it in other lights, it looks gold. It's a really interesting color they've done on this. But isn't that beautiful? It just sparkles. So I can buy that, and I can just, you know, put a little tack in the wall or a nail. Oops. And here I could just hang that on the wall. Isn't that beautiful? You could have that up literally year round, you know, or over your altar area. You see, wonderful stuff. So, you know, now is a really great time to get out and explore, uh, you know, considering what, what they call Christmas decorations could actually be very Wiccan, you know. If you're working with snow magic, if you look in the middle of that, there's like a snowflake design. Do you see that? Uh, or you could have oak leaves. These look like oak leaves. So these are really applicable, I think, to Wiccan, you know, decor, Wiccan magical work. I think they're wonderful. And I hit on another brilliant idea. I actually started this one last year. Um, and I might have shown this to you. But I was looking and last year I was at the dollar store and they had a sale on tree topper ornaments. Now, aren't these beautiful? Look at that. This is done in purple. And I'm actually using this in the altar for the Order of the Purple Cord. Oh, by the way, for those of you who've been sending me letters, I am getting your letters. We do still have the Order of the Purple Cord going, and I will get back to you on that. So just bear with me. But to answer everybody's question, yes, the Order of the Purple Cord is still going. Okay, so I bought that for my Purple Cord altar. Isn't that wonderful? By the way, for those of you who are new here, you're saying, what is he talking about, Order of the Purple Cord? Order of the Purple Cord is a Wiccan order. Uh, it's free to join. We have a Facebook page. I'll put all that below. And Lady Angela McAllister and I both run it. And we, we it's, it's a gathering of online Wiccans who want to be part of an order, but are probably in an area where they're solitary. So if you've been wanting to connect to a group, but you don't really have anybody locally, or even if you do have anybody locally, but you resonate with us, we welcome you to join the order. Um, go to my website. I'm going to put the link below at robert-hickman.com. And on the, the front page there, it talks about the order of the purple cord. So you can go read that, join, you know, what it is to join. It's free to join. But we have a few membership requirements. Uh, real simple. You have to agree with the Wiccan read, and you also have to make yourself a purple cord to wear. We'll have more about that coming soon, but go to my website. But anyways, this beautiful purple star I got for $1. And so I thought, this is really cool. What am I going to do with this? Because I can't really hang it on the wall. And then I had an amazing idea. I love candlesticks. And I have this beautiful pewter candlestick. And I was just looking. I said, you know what? That fits right in my candlestick. And now I've got an amazing altar ornament. You could make one of these to sit on your altar or just put anywhere in your house that you want to have a pentagram. And uh, isn't that simple? So, you know, you might want to get a like little candlestick. You could have a tall candlestick. It doesn't have to be short. But get a candlestick. Try to get one that's like a standard. This is just kind of a standard candle size. Nothing special about it. Just a standard candlestick. And you can buy these tree top ornaments and they usually will fit right in it. Isn't that something? And, you know, I went on a bit of a crazy spree because I also bought one in gold. So I've got a purple one and i got a gold one. Uh, i got to get some more candlesticks. I haven't decided where I put this one yet, but I have it in my house. I'm going to put it out soon. So isn't that just, they're beautiful, you know? And let's see, I also have another one here. Let's see, well, I haven't opened this one. I have another purple one. Um, this one's in dark purple and this is in light purple. Isn't that beautiful? But see, you can buy these, and I paid literally, you can see up there, a dollar for that. And I think they're really magical looking ornaments. So I'm going to use these throughout uh, the year, and I'm going to have a lot of pentacles in my house. And uh, see, you know, you have to be creative, you know. If you want to bring Wiccan themes in your house, look around. You'll find stuff. Now, just a word of caution, though. One of the things, this is an ornament that I bought. And unfortunately, if you buy these, they're very delicate. I accidentally dropped the bag and I chipped the end, both of the ends off the star. And I chipped the other one just recently. So 
they are delicate and unfortunately this one you know you could still hang it's not perfect probably most people wouldn't know or you might want to maybe just trim you know what I'm gonna explore that trimming the edges to make a match but anyways if you do buy these ornaments be careful with the edges of the stars because they are delicate okay and unfortunately this one broke but as you can see these beautiful sparkling golds it's just lovely in fact just to show you again this is the other one I showed. It's the soft gold. And you can see kind of the different color. Like that's a soft gold and that's a deeper. This one's a deeper gold. And, you know, you can kind of get a sense of the color differences. But they're just beautiful. I think it's beautiful, you know. So, you know, I wanted to come here today just to you know, kind of share that with you. Because I think, I think, you know, it's just it came to my mind because seeing, you know, holiday stuff out with Halloween stuff it got me thinking about it and I thought you guys would enjoy seeing that today so anyways um, just you know want to bring that to you I hope that uh, wherever you are you know that you're you know you're bringing some of that magical energy into your house and if you're new to Wicca and you're in a place where you can do it and I know some of you live in places where you can't put up stuff uh, you might be able to get away with putting up like these sort of star things because like people will think of that as Christmassy and they probably won't be offended. So only you need to know that it's actually representing the Wiccan Pentacle. But, uh, you know, so there you go. Anyways, guys, tell me in the box below, have you recently, uh, have you, first of all, have you been seeing Christmas stuff come out or Yule, Hanukkah, all of that? Have you been seeing it? And two, have you ever bought it uh, like stars like this? with a Wiccan purpose. You know, I'm really curious about that because I'm like, am I the only one that's ever done this? Or maybe some of you have, you know, altars where you've set up and, you know, bought ornaments and used traditional Christmas stuff in a Wiccan manner. Because really, I think, you know, the truth is that we had it first and the Christian stole it from us. I really believe that. But you know what? Let's take it back. Let's reclaim our sacred symbol. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Let's reclaim our pinnacles. Well, guys, thanks for being here today. I love you. I'm sending you blessings. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming. Today is Wiccan Wednesday, and tomorrow, I think I got my days right, is Vlog Thursday. So we're going to go out and see what there is to see tomorrow. We'll have some sort of adventure. Make sure to be back here then, and we'll make it happen. Listen, guys, in the meantime, if you want to help me out, I really need your help. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends. Let's get the word out about Spear Channel and hit subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. And, uh, oh, if you didn't see yesterday's video, definitely check that out. Uh, we had messages from the spirit world. We had a great turnout. So I want to say thank you to all of you who came out for that. So if you didn't see that, check it out, okay? And on Monday, we did horoscopes. And those are horoscopes for all 12 zodiac signs for the whole week. So if you're just tuning in, you haven't watched all this, you got some things to catch up on, but I think it'll keep you entertained. So thanks for being here. You guys are always the best, and I really do love you. Mm, I can't tell you how much I love you guys. So keep it here at Spirit Channel. We'll be back here tomorrow for Vlog Thursday. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. <laughs> and we'll see you then. And until then, may you always blessed be. I think I'm going to go watch my sparkly star. We'll see you tomorrow.